Finally, we're here in New Zealand, uh, like first uh, practice we have done now, so we feel good. We feel really welcome here, like really kind people, nice country so far we have seen, so it's really good. It feels like we play a lot of times against New Zealand on big tournaments, so um, yeah, it's always a tough game, like it's a good team, like uh, they always go till the end, they give everything, so uh, yeah, I hope they do well also in this uh, World Cup, but uh, if we meet each other, then hopefully we'll Basically we want to produce the best surface possible even if it's a training surface for teams so that they can, they can you know, feel at home, feel welcome and then uh, turn out and produce the best game of, of football that they can when they, it comes to, um, to game time and, and the tournament. As groundsman, mm -hmm. what have you had to do differently? Um, so basically this time of year we've normally got a cooch uh, surface on the field there so that goes dormant, we don't normally mow it for three or four months because it just doesn't grow. That grass isn't suitable for soccer, or for football, sorry. Um, so yeah, we had to put rye grass over the top to put in the suitable grass for the team to perform on. Um, the renovations probably started back in August or September last year. I was asked by our club president uh, from Tauranga City, uh, Brendan, to participate in the bid to have um, Tauranga be the base for the Netherlands. I uh, participated in a, uh, a tour with two representatives of the Dutch Football Association. And I think what was really handy is that I could address some of the reasons why we live here as a family uh, in their native language. And um, yeah, a couple of months later, here we are. It was amazing to see professional football players in our hometown. It was great to have the Dutch team here in Tauranga. It was really exciting and I'm happy to get this opportunity. And what about you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>